good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have an epic fan mail fart in a box unboxing thing and stuff. So today what we're gonna do is we have this box here from, I was contacted by a fan on Instagram and they have sent us a box here that I'm very excited about. I actually have cracked it open and I must say it is it is amazing. It, it's truly, thank you so much to the person who sent it. We are gonna get into who sent it and all that stuff. But you're probably wondering, Brad, why the hell you have two Buzz Lightyears and this rock figure back here? Well, Brad, last week I was actually on vacation and uh, me and my wife and my mom and my brother, Brad, all went to Disney and I had to get some stuff so I figured why not make a little haul video to go with the box before we get into it. So, uh, before we get into the box, guys, this table's here to cover up the name and address so you can't be a weirdie. We're going to slide that out of the way. And I do want to show you guys these real quick. They're just basically, um, we went to the Disney store and there were a lot of Disney stores around. And so, uh, if you know me, you know that I am a Buzz Lightyear mark. So, I went ahead and grabbed one that is film accurate. I have this film accurate Buzz Lightyear. You know, he's got the operational wings on there. He's got the laser that's operational. And one thing that pisses me off about this laser is is that's not the noise that the laser makes in the movie. And both of these Buzz Lightyears make the same laser noise, and it's not even movie accurate, so I'm definitely going to have to get one of the classic ones so that I can have the right laser, because that just upsets me, Brad. i got, I got to have one with a good laser, but he does have the good operations. He's got all the logos going on. He is a really nice Buzz. And so we have one that's film accurate right there, and then the other one, uh, neither of them have ankle pivot, so that pisses me off, too. They're, they're kind of difficult to stand up. It's like, geez, Brad. But yeah, I guess I understand it. But getting back here into this one, this one's really sick because it's glow in the dark and uh, it's not dark in here enough. It's like during the daytime, so you won't be able to see it. But uh, he has operational wings and they have lights on them. He also speaks in Spanish. He has the glow in the dark paint on there. And uh, it's basically the same figure except glow in the dark and speaks Spanish and has lights on the wings. So that's pretty much it. And there's actually like a pretty substantial price difference in the two. So I wouldn't recommend getting this one over this one. I actually bought this one first, saw this one later, and then uh, had to bite the bullet again because I, I wanted one that was film accurate. But there we go. We got two Buzz Light Years, and I wanted to show those off to you guys before we move on with the video. So these are super duper fire. And then another thing that we got, guys, I went to a random Walmart because, you know, when you're on vacation, you still got a grocery shopping-ish, right? So I finally found the Elite 69 or Collector's Edition Smackdown rock figure, whatever you want to call it here. And it looks good. I'm really happy. I was actually shocked. I found one of these, and then they had Elite Series 69 Ciampa there. Almost grabbed the Ciampa too, but I figured, you know, I already bought 16 Buzz Light years, so might as well slow down, not get anything else. Picked up the rock to go in the collection. I need to crack him out of the packaging too. Still haven't done that. Wanted to keep him mock here for the video, so we will uh, we'll take a closer look at this later on, but now that we have covered the rock and the Buzz, guys, let's go ahead and get into our massive box here that has so much good fodder in it that it's kind of ridiculous and I'm super excited. You can see there on the box that it does say MDT right there, which is, is fantastic. We know that she knew where to send it, and yes, I said she, she contacted me, and I was very surprised. Uh, you know, shout out to all the female supporters of MDT, but she sent us this big box, guys, and we're going to spin it open. She also sent us a note that we're going to read aloud to the class before we break into the box, and uh, we appreciate all the fan mail that we get here at MDT. So we're going to go ahead and read this aloud to the class, and right here it says, Hey, MDT, my name is Raven, and I'm a big fan of your channel. I especially enjoy the Pick Fed, the Battle Royals, and My Damn Halls when you did those. I hope you like everything here and that you put it to good use, whether competing against whether pe whether competing against men or in their own division, I have to say I'd be hyped to see women in MDT. I get why you haven't. The figures haven't been or the figures have been subpar, but they're getting better, especially with that Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey. I feel like one of the few women who's into wrestling figure collecting, but it's an awesome community with great people from all backgrounds, beliefs, and walks of life. One I'm very proud to be a part of. If anyone wants to, they can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Raven Brigady or Ra Raven Brig. Raven Brigid <laughs> Raven Brigged. I'll put it up on the screen. I'll put it up on the screen. I think it's Brigged. Brig Brig build a build a build a, build a bear. I don't have a ton on there yet, but I hope to make more videos about wrestling, wrestling figures, music, other toys I collect like Legos and Marvel Legends, and whatever else I feel like, lol. That's right, you make the content you want to create, not the content that people force you to create. So give your girl a subscribe, much love MDT, and enjoy, and keep doing what you love. Raven Brigady, or Brigid. It is Brigid. Aha! Signed, Raven Brigid. Build-A-Bear. 
So there we go. All right, so thank you so much, Raven. I so apologize for the name mess up. I will put it on the screen correctly, though. But guys, this box right here is filled with some epicness, and we're going to find out what it is now, and you're going to be very shocked. Now, this is the best thing about the unboxing, and it is this Elite 53 Miz entrance jacket. Now, this is not the best part of the thing. I was totally kidding, but it is pretty cool. I do appreciate this, but wait till you see what's all in here. You're going to be flabbergasted as much as I am. I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is supposed to be Sable, or I, I really don't know who this is supposed to be, but uh, I, I do know that it is an old Jax figure or statue, and it has a little peg hole down here, and I don't know exactly what the... If you know Raven, please comment down below. I'd love to know, you know, all the background to the figure and everything, but let's get into this fodder bag slash box slash thing that we're going to get into, and right here, guys, you will see that this bag is full of pretty much a complete Elite 64 Seth Rollins that is pretty much just disassembled. That's all it is. It's just a disassembled Elite 64 Seth Rollins, and it has some bigger arms in there. So these are actually... Uh, it's an Elite 64 Rollins, but it does have the NXT Target exclusive arms on there, and I'm not sure. She just said she wanted to send me some fodder, and, and here we are. So it has the, the kick pads, it has the, the knees, the, the knee pads, and everything in there, and the only thing it's missing is the arms, but I have like 600 pairs of arms, so um, it's basically an Elite 64 Rollins. So that is our first bit of fodder. I can definitely put use to that. You guys know we have like 652 Rollins on the channel, so we'll definitely get some use out of that. Getting back into it, guys, the next thing that we have is a Another Rollins, and it is this Elite 37 Rollins that has no hands. Now, this is an Elite 37, but it is very nice. I use this figure a lot, so I am always appreciative of any Rollins figure, and this Rollins figure actually goes for a pretty decent amount of money at loose because it's one of the first singles. I think it's the first singles Rollins that we ever got from Mattel uh, when he first turned heel and disbanded from the Shield, so this is a very nice figure, and I appreciate it very, very much. I don't know, again, I don't know what kind of use, uh, like customs are going to be at the wazoo, like they're not already here on the channel, but thank you so much, Raven, for the Elite 37. Next up, guys, we have a full-fledged Elite Chase variant, Shelton Benjamin, that's missing a hand. Now, this is freaking fantastic because, uh, not first of all, it's a Chase variant, Shelton Benjamin. It's beautiful. It's the gold standard, and it looks fantastic, but also, uh, this torso can be used for Velveteen Dream. It can be used for some custom Elite Shelton Benjamins. He's actually disappeared from the pick fed, so maybe he'll make a reemergence. Who knows what's going on with him right now? So, we appreciate this, and this is is uh, gonna go great in the collection, man. I can't believe you actually sent me a Chase variant, right? Like, this this unboxing, if the unboxing quit right now, it would still be epic as hell. So, the fact that we still have a box full of things, it makes me kind of upset. Upset in the good way. So, we're gonna keep going, guys. We're gonna dive in here and see what else. Oh, Snapsies McGapsies. We have a retro Finn Balor figure with the coup de gras action right there and uppercut. So, it's a coup de gras uppercut because when you do an, a coup de gras, everyone knows that you give an uppercut as well. So there it is, uh, looking very good. This is gonna be my second one of this loose, and maybe we could do like a custom with it or something. I don't know. I don't know, Brad. Just my mind's going circular with that ideas right now. Hey, what's up, guys? We have a Bludgeon Brother, and it is the Bludgeon Brother of Luke Harper. So it's not only fodder in this thing, Brad. She sent us full-fledged elite figures. Like, this is a full-fledged Bludgeon Brother Luke Harper figure, and uh, this head scan is fantastic. I love it, and this body can be used for all kinds of things. With the entrance jacket, of course, like, this is fantastic, man. Thank you so much. Like, I can't even, I can't thank you enough for how epic this unboxing has been so far, and we're not even done. So, we have this Luke Harper figure to go with our Chase variant and our other Elite Rollins. I mean, my God, what else do we have in here, Brad? Oh, my God in heaven. What is, is this an Elite 6 Batista, or is this that, like, like, what? I think this is, I know this is like the Elite 33 head sculpt, I think, but it also has like the tattoos of the Elite 6, or is this supposed to be that like fake uh, Batista figure that was going around on eBay for a while? I don't I don't know, it kind of looks like that, but like the graphic looks good, like it all looks good. I know it has some tattoo chipping, but nothing too bad. Um, it also has some Elite Kevin Owens kick pads on it, so it's probably like a little Frankenstein effort thrown together, but it looks really good. And if this is a r legit Elite 6 Batista, with just a loose shoulder. Um, we're gonna freaking, we're gonna put this thing in surgery and we're gonna bring him back to life like Frankenstein. This looks fantastic though. Like I know it has tattoo chipping, but that's not that big of a deal. You could easily fix some stuff up and this is fantastic. So thank you so much. This is great, man. This is excellent. Love the graphic. Batista always had the best graphic on the front and back right there. And the way this is glowing makes me, I don't, I don't know. Somebody let me know. Is this the one that was on eBay that was fake? I can't remember. It may be legit. I, I don't know. But moving on, dude. The, the, I mean, this, this unboxing is ridiculous. Oh, I found Shelton Benjamin's hand. Or is that, this is a pointing finger. The only figure that comes with a freaking pointing finger is a 
is an Elite Bobby Trashley. So she sent us an Elite Bobby Trashley. So not only is that, this is definitely not just fodder, guys. This is like a lot of figures. Like, my God, we have Bobby Lashley in the, in the house here with his scalp all kind of messed up a little bit, but that's all right. We can fix him up there. So we have Bobby Trashley, Shelton Benjamin, Elite Batista, Elite Luke Harper. I mean, my God, Brad, what is she sending me her whole collection in the box or something? I don't know what's going on. We have a Triple H head sculpt. We have a... My mind just went totally by Hacksaw, Hacksaw Jim Duggan head sculpt. I don't know why my mind went blank. But we have the, the Retro Fest Hacksaw Jim Duggan. We have some other baggies in here. We have uh, Bobby Trashley's vest. We have some more hands, it feels like. Oh, snap, we have the mask that goes with the Miz. We have a right hand who goes to somebody. We have a little bag here, and it looks like in this bag we have the Elite 53 Miz, so this is going to be excellent. So not only did we get, you know, the, the accessories that come with Miz, but it looks like she sent us the upper portion, and not only did she send that, we have the kick pads and the thighs in here as well. So we have a full Miz figure in here just broken down. That is freaking excellent, dude. Like, Raven did not have to do any of this, and she just decided to send us stuff. We have another hand. We have, uh, so it's some fodder, but, I mean, mostly these are full figures, guys. What? What is this? It's an elite Undertaker with all his tattoos removed, which is actually pretty clean. Like, that looks very clean. There's not a lot of chipping going on besides the shoulders and the back right there. But if you acetone this, you did a really good job. That's actually really impressive. Um, I don't know who this could be. Maybe a creative wrestler or something. Because the, the fact that you took off all the tattoos with acetone is pretty impressive because it looks super clean. Like, there's not a lot of, like, tattoo left. And uh, that, that's pretty nice right there. So if you did that yourself, uh, kudos to you. You killed that. But he is headless and handless. Not a big deal. I have plenty of gloves hands and Undertaker head sculpts if I wanted to do that or something else. I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless. And then it looks like our last bag here is an elite four horsemen Ric Flair figure. And this figure is actually really nice for a, a whole bunch of reasons because you can actually use his thighs for uh, Finn Balor's. You can use his thighs for Seth Rollins. You can use his thighs for a lot and you can put any kind of tights on here. Um, really nice figure. You got the bare arms. You have the uh, tight torso. I think, it, yeah, his figures always have good torsos and not a loose waist, so that kills it right there. And we also have all of his other parts, so the thighs, the knees, the, the boots, the calves, the knee pads. I mean, she killed it, dude. What if, I mean, I give up. I, I'm walking away. I mean, that was excellent. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen. What an epic haul from Raven, dude. Thank you so very much, dudette, I should say, because this is amazing, and uh, I appreciate this so much, man. This is, this is excellent. We're definitely going to get a lot of work out of all of this. Uh, the, like, this is absolutely outstanding. Like, I cannot believe you actually sent us not only full figures, but some great fodder that we can use on action figure surgery. Uh, speaking of which, we have action figure surgery tomorrow, so maybe some of this stuff will go into surgery tomorrow. We'll have to see. We're going to feature, you know, at least 72 and the WrestleMania 36 figures in there. It's going to be really epic, and uh, we have a lot of painting to do, which is kind of crappy because we have to, you know, we have to do that on camera. It's kind of difficult to get, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but thank you so much to Raven, guys. Definitely go subscribe to her channel, Raven Brigid Build-A-Bear. It's not Build-A-Bear. That's a joke. It's it's Raven Brigid. You see it there on the screen there. Definitely go give her a subscribe. If I can find it on YouTube, I'll definitely plug it in the description, so you definitely need to go check her out. But thank you so very much to Raven, and thank you so very much to everyone who tuned in to watch the video. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the Buzz Lightyears as well as the big box of Ish and the Rock figure that we are going to put up on the shelf and stuff and expand the Rock clay. I need more shelves, man. It's freaking ridiculous. I've, I've literally almost filled up every shelf in here, so there's literally no more room for you know we my Batistas and my Rey Mysterio sit on the same shelf and we just got a new Batista and a new Rey Mysterio won't even fit on the John Brown thing so I have to I'm probably gonna have to move some figures around to even get them to fit but thank you guys so very much for watching thank you so much to Raven for this epic box I'm very appreciative of it and I cannot wait to get all this stuff to use but that is gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys and I will see you guys in the next video Thank you.